What up, Apple fans? This is Sean Long of LongshotDreams.com bringing you another Apple product review. This time of the Apple 64 gig iPad. Let's start with packaging. The iPad comes in, of course, this really nice uh, Apple uh, pad for the iPad. Very simple but very nice with the barcode on the back. If you buy any Apple products, you know it comes with this little kind of folder of little things, just little instructions, sheets, and little important product uh, guide um, instructions if you kind of need it. Plus little Apple stickers, who doesn't love those? You only get two accessories, which is the USB to uh, iPad or iPod um, little cord. Uh, you can use your iPod or iPhone ones, it works just the same. And you get the little uh, power adapter here which plugs into the USB part and so you can charge this from any wall outlet. It would have been nice to come with earbuds and a, or, and a screen protector but um, it, it's cool that at least we get that. Now onto the iPad itself. We get 9.7 inch LED backlit glossy widescreen multi-touch display with IPS technology and it's 1024 by 768 pixel resolution at 132 pixels per inch fingerprint resistant and support for display of multiple languages. The iPad of course comes in 16, 32 and 64 gig and that right now I have the 64 gig. It has 1 gigahertz Apple A4 custom design high performance low power uh, system on the chip processor. Battery life is amazing on here. I've only charged this thing twice since I've got it and the battery life is amazing. It runs on 10 hours whether you're running video uh, or listening to music or surfing the web all on uh, Wi-Fi. Now this is the Wi-Fi only model. Uh, the 64 gig which I have right here is uh, $699. You can get the 32 gig for $599 or you can get the 16 gig for $499. Uh, if you want to add the 3G which will be coming out later um, which you'll have to pay uh, for unlimited 3G access about $30 a month on AT&T if you choose to use AT&T which right now you have to. Just add an extra $130 on each of the uh, L models and that's how much the um, uh, 3G ones will be. Before I get into all the touchscreen stuff, the only external buttons are of course the home key. If you use an iPod uh, touch or an I iPhone, you know uh, what, what that is. On the left side, there's no outputs or external uh, buttons right here. On the right side, let's have a little switch here if you are choosing to move this from uh, portrait to landscape on here so you can lock the screen, which is really cool. And it has the volume for volume up and down. Power switch is right here on the very top and you do get an input for your head buds. Uh, for your iPhone uh, earbuds and then a little mic right here which is uh, very tiny. On the bottom here is the USB dock uh, to charge your uh, iPad and then of course uh, here's the three uh, speakers uh, right here which are actually pretty nicely loud. Now let's see what comes standard on the iPad. You get calendar here which opens up. It, it's really nice. You can place events right here. You can display from day, week, um, month and of course list. So it's really cool. Um, this is great if you're organizing your events, if you use an iPhone or iPod Touch, a uh, great application. Also comes standard with the contacts app, which is cool. Only fortunately, since this is not a phone, this is more for just like on your MacBook to keep numbers in case you need them. But it's cool that you can incorporate this in case you're on your iPad and you need it. Someone's asking for someone's phone number, you can just check it here. Or if you want to place someone's address or emails, it's all in here. So so it's great that they included that. We also get the notes app which is also a handy tool for writing little reminders. You can also have the choice to email them uh, to your gmail or whichever email client you use. We also get the maps app which unfortunately since this is not a phone you can't use it for turn by turn instructions. Well actually once you get the 3G you will be able to use this for if you were say traveling with someone and you brought your iPad and you have the 3G model you can use it for GPS uh, instructions on how to get to places but this is also great if you're at home and like you use Google Maps and want to know uh, where's the Target or Toys R Us or whatever store you're looking for you can just place it in here you just put Target and let's put it in here and then I'll show you all of the nearest targets in your area which is awesome. And then of course we got the videos app. If you have any movies you bought uh, through iTunes or from digital copy, they're all stored here. They show us all the front covers on here. Um, it also has your TV shows and your music videos which is awesome. So you can display it here. Um, it'll show more information about the movie and then you can choose to play it 
and then of course you can switch this around and watch your movies in full widescreen which is very awesome and just looks and sounds amazing on here. Since this is also bigger you can go through the scenes really fast right here and it's a lot easier to pinpoint the exact scene you want to go through unlike the iPhone or iPod Touch. The next app we got is which is one of my favorites and it's my work is the YouTube app. See at the bottom we got featured, top rated, most viewed, favorites, subscriptions, my videos, and history. Now what's really cool when you're on the my videos section you can uh, choose the course to play your videos. What's cool, it'll display the video on the top right here and you have all the information in the video. You can choose through related videos, you can do from more from which will show more of my videos, and then you can do comments. You can actually leave a comment. Oh, that's one of my new videos playing right now. You can choose to leave comments on here, which a little keyboard will display here. And if you choose to display it on this side, you can see the video in all its glory. You can see the video in nice HD quality looks just amazing on here. And then you can choose to make the video smaller so you can leave a comment or read other comments while you're doing it. Also, what's cool is that it gives you the option to add the video to your favorites or to any of your playlists. You can choose to share the video uh, via Gmail or whatever your email client is. You can also choose to rate the video. What's funny is that it gives you the option to rate it stars unlike the new uh, like or dislike option. So it's kind of funny when you can still rate videos through your iPad and you can choose to flag it but don't do not do that on my videos. The keyboard on here is really nice. It's very fast and responsive and if you have big fingers it works really well. Um, you can choose the search. Let's search Iron Man. So you put it in there and we hit the search bar and then it'll load and you can see all the videos here. You can watch a new Iron Man trailer or a Black Sabbath playing Iron Man and it just works really awesome. You can also display it in the portrait mode and it just looks amazing. Then we got the iTunes app which of course you guys all know what iTunes is. Uh, you can choose to uh, buy or preview lots of things whether it's music, we got movies, we got TV shows, we got podcasts, audiobooks, iTunes U, and it shows you can see all your downloads. So, really great access to the iTunes store. We got Madonna up there if you want to get it. And of course, we got the ever popular App Store, which opens up here. And now they have a special section just for iPad apps. And you can choose uh, what's the top charts here. You can see, like, here. I downloaded a few, like we got iBooks, which will show the ABC player, there's Netflix, Weather Channel, and you can choose, they got the updates here, um, which you can install directly onto your iPad. Once you first get in here, it shows apps just for the iPad, but then you can choose to uh, see more apps that are also made for the iPhone and iPad, and I iPhone apps work really well in the iPad, which I'll show. We also have the settings button here, which we can do a lot of things. You can set up your Wi-Fi, which is up here. You have your notifications for all your different apps. Decide to have them on. You can do brightness wallpaper, which is really great. And the iPhone um, and iPod Touches will be getting this soon. You can choose your wallpaper. Uh, you can choose it from all your different photos from uh, like iPhoto and everything. So let's choose the wallpaper here. Right now I got my wallpaper, my screen, you can choose for screen lock. Right now I got War Machine and my background is Scarlett Johansson. Oh, I love that one. What's also cool, we have a picture frame section right here, which you can choose to choose a different set of photos from your iPhotos. So when you have the screen on lock, um, it'll show different uh, photos and everything uh, like a slideshow, kind of like those digital picture frames that you can buy at the store, which is really cool and let me show you it. So you see right now Scarlet is my wallpaper and we'll hit um, the little power button down here, up here, and then when you power up, we got now War Machine is my lock screen with the time displaying right here. And then what's cool, we hit the picture frame button right here. And right now it will show, but I have uh, Iron Man 2 uh, wallpapers as my little photo thing. It looks even great when you display it in landscape mode. And you have just a bunch of different Iron Man 2 characters um, displaying from Whiplash to Iron Man uh, to Black Widow to War Machine, which is just awesome. So when you're not using your iPad, you can have it as a digital picture frame, and I love that feature. All the other basic things with settings, you can choose your network, have Bluetooth on if you have Bluetooth devices like the iMac keyboard, which is awesome as you can Bluetooth it, your auto lock, password, you can set up your keyboard, uh, value percentage, you can set up your mailbox, you can add a bunch of mails like a Gmail and set that up, you can do your Safari 
Safari for search engines, your iPad for sound check, your videos if you want captions on, uh, you can do your photos for slideshows in the store, and so it's all uh, pretty basic. The next app we have is Safari, which is our web browser. Now what's really cool is that the Safari browser looks uh, gorgeous on here. Unfortunately, just like the iPhone and iPod Touch, uh, it doesn't support Flash, but there's actually a lot of websites that don't need Flash. You can go um, and just use the YouTube videos like uh, my site here, which you can go into here and my website here, longshotdreams.com, since I have all the YouTube videos, you can, what's really cool, you can actually just play them right off of the website. Unlike the iPhone or iPod Touch where the screen would become only the video, you can still view the whole web page without it um, uh, just playing the video and stuff. So it's really cool and you can just uh, view it in uh, landscape mode and it looks just gorgeous and very responsive touch screen. You can uh, zoom in and out with the pinch features um, and you can use uh, two fingers to scroll down. You can go to uh, websites like Red vs. Blue that uses HTML5 and you can actually play their videos right on here so you don't have to worry. I know it sucks not to be able to use Flash on this but a lot of the websites are using HTML5 or just YouTube videos so you can still use the iPad to view lots of web pages and the, it just looks gorgeous on here. Uh, the, it's so responsive. Then of course there's the mail app which you can go in here and you can uh, check your uh, inbox. I use Gmail right here so you can check all your different Gmails. Like I have an email from Gameflies. Finally they shipped me out Elements vs Predator. It took you a freaking month. Oh my god. But anyway. Um, so yeah, you have your email. shows all your inbox here. Then it'll open up whatever um, a mail you have in this bigger screen. And of course you can choose the display the landscape. Uh, mode and then you can see all the emails on the side while viewing it at the same time. With the new update you'll be able to have all your uh, different um, email boxes in one box and you'll be able to have more than one um, enhanced email so uh, it's really cool that um, we're going to have that with Microsoft Exchange and everything. And of course there's the photos uh, app here which you can open up and see all your different photos on here. We'll uh, scroll down here and we can look at the Iron Man ones. It opens it up here and you can choose to uh, see different photos and everything here or we can see me as Batman and we can you know uh, zoom in and zoom out here. Very responsive touch screen. Oh, Batman. Yeah why are you touching me? Why are you touching me? Sorry man I didn't mean to touch you so there's also an accessory which you can actually import photos into your i iPhotos and put it on your iPad. So that's also a very cool thing. You can also see it in albums and just uh, uh, photos right here. So you can also do slideshow where you actually play music while you look at all your different pictures, which is really cool that you get all these different options. I know I have the picture of the moon, which I use for different things. Got Obama. Uh, please don't hate uh, just because I'm an Obama supporter. So, <laughs> And of course, we got the iPod um, app here, which is really cool. You can look through all your different uh, albums here. You can look through just single songs and you can go through artists, genres, and composers. When you display it in landscape mode, you get more of uh, the information displayed here and you can play it just by playing on here. Unfortunately, uh, Apple decided not to go with cover flow when you're in uh, this mode, which is a little weird and stuff, but um, it, it's all right with me that they don't have it. Um, uh, you still get your albums displayed here in this really nice display. Another little thing I want to show you guys which is really cool, you can actually uh, when you hold on to a different icon you can actually choose to move up to uh, six icons onto your dock right here so now I can have the YouTube uh, icon on the bottom and I can also put my videos uh, down here which is awesome. So now you can see that they'll be part of your dock regardless of how many pages you go onto. Let's take a look at the apps and how they look on the iPad. One of the most popular ones and it's free, it's right now only on the iPad but soon for the iPod, uh, iPhone and iPod Touch is the um, iBooks app. What's really cool about this, you get a free book which is Winnie the Pooh, one of my favorite stories and it's very responsive. You can see here when you turn the page here and it looks just gorgeous on here. It's uh, definitely easy to read and the text on here just pop out. It looks great. You can also choose to display it here which will actually give two pages which I really like a lot. So you can actually read it like an open book in this way which is awesome. See here the iBooks app is actually really cool once, you're, once you have it here 
you'll have all your books on the shelf the more books you buy you got many different books ranging from ten dollars to thirteen dollars or cheaper and what's cool is that you can actually choose to buy like a book and just a preview like a couple of chapters to see if you want to read uh, more of it which is actually a cool thing that iBooks is doing so this definitely will give the Kindle a run for its money. One of my favorite apps made just for the iPad and soon coming for the iPhone iPod Touch is the Marvel Comics app. Now this app is amazing. You can uh, download all your favorite comic books from Spider-Man, Iron Man, X-Men, Hulk, and they look just gorgeous on here, just like the iBooks. Um, you can turn your page. You can actually choose to read it in sections with the leather box here. You can zoom in to those sections if you want to. You can also choose to read it in landscape mode, which looks just awesome. Just like it really feels like you're holding the actual comic book in your hands, and it just looks amazing. I, I can't get over how cool this app is. The app shows all your comic books that you own right here, and uh, shows recently downloaded, recently viewed, and also with the store, uh, all the comic books range from about. A two to three dollars, I believe, to free, which is awesome because there's free comics they give you here. Get like Sp Amazing Spider Man, Fantastic Four, New Avengers, Hulk, and it's just really awesome. So you got all the Marvel Comics database here for your disposal, what you want to see, whether it's Captain America, Iron Man, Daredevil, and it's just a really awesome app. What's also, cool is that you can take your regular iPhone apps. And you can actually work a lot better for the iPad. One of my favorite new apps, which is Baby Scratch, is just a lot more fun and a lot easier to use on here. I'm a DJ! You can see the Transformers uh, Cybertoy app looks just amazing on this. Um, and Bumblebee is a lot bigger now when he dances, which is awesome. You go, Bumblebee. Also, apps like Doodle uh, Buddy look just awesome and are a lot more fun when you have a bigger screen like the iPad. Games like Flight Control even look a lot better on the uh, iPad and are a lot easier. Uh, you can get this in HD for five bucks, but your normal uh, flight control for your iPhone or iPod Touch works just fine on here and a lot more fun to play. IMDB has a beautiful app where just like their website, you can check out all information about your favorite stars or movie. And when you turn it a um, uh, landscape mode, you got all the information for box office results in here and looks just gorgeous on the iPad. Apps like IMT Pain and the Ocarina app will still work uh, just fine with the mic right here. And you can still play it, which is really cool. And it just now you kind of have a bigger um, area to uh, play on in. Even apps like Twitterific just look gorgeous and look uh, really awesome when you're checking all your tweets and you can put on landscape mode to see all your ad mentions and your messages and all your favorite things. So it's a really great app for the iPad. Of course, how can we forget the famous Smosh I Shut Up app? Because, you know, this review is just going on. Of course, you need it to be bigger and just to say, Shut up! There's also a great app called Pro Keys, which is actually like having a real-life keyboard uh, on your iPads. So you can play actually little songs for you. You can serenade a lady or be the life of the party and start jamming on the keyboard on your iPad. Games like Real Racing GTI look just absolutely gorgeous on this game. And since with the accelerometer, you can choose to you know, hold the iPad. And it's like holding a steering wheel, which makes racing games a lot more fun on the iPad. Oh, crap. Hopefully, oh, crap. I can drive while doing a review. Kids, remember, don't drive and do reviews. Otherwise, you might crash. Oh, crap. Nice comparison time. So here you can see the iPad since it's a 9.7 inch screen. You can see how much uh, bigger, uh, smaller it is compared to my 12 inch MacBook screen, which is back here. And you can see how much uh, bigger it is compared to the iPhone. It's probably the size of uh, four iPhones put together. So you can see it's a good size bigger. The iPad weighs a pound and a half. It's pretty light. It's not super heavy, but it's not super light. I mean, it's not as light as an iPhone, but still it's pretty relaxing having this on your lap when you're lounging around at home, just playing games or on the net or watching videos. So it's really great for recreation and 
definitely great to travel with for sure i mean you can't put this in your pocket unless you have a huge pocket but still pretty nice so all in all is the ipad uh, just a bigger iphone or ipod touch in a way it is but it's so much more uh it has definitely one of the best touch screen experiences on any device even more so than the iphone it really takes advantage of its larger uh, uh, screen and definitely watching movies browsing the web reading comics or uh, doing your mail is just really looks uh, amazing on here it looks phenomenal playing uh, iPhone games is even easier and sometimes more fun on the iPad if you own an iPhone or iPod touch this is you'll know how to use it right off the bat it has the same OS as the iPhone or iPod touch and what the new OS for uh, in the fall will be getting multi touch be getting enhanced email and we'll be getting folders which will make uh, organizing all your apps on this even better now, I chose to get the Wi-Fi only version because when I'm out uh, traveling I'm pretty much gonna be in places like a hotel or on the airplane with Wi-Fi so I didn't want to have to pay for 3g when I already got it on my iPhone I would just say if you're uh, buying this um, this is just a great recreational device for home you don't have to have your laptop on your on your lap you can just have this and just browse um, the, the web watch movies listen to music play games and overall for an um, all media type device it's the best thing you can I definitely highly recommend this um, if you can't wait if you don't need the 3G definitely get the Wi-Fi uh, version only since you do save $130 like I said you can just use your iPhone or or phone for uh, browsing the web on there just use this for the Wi-Fi when you're at in hotels airplanes or you're at home the Wi-Fi works pretty good on here and I just I really love this device um, definitely it could be better if I had flash support and once you get multitasking and in the folders it'll even be better but all in all I'm really impressed especially by the battery life and I definitely recommend this for not only Apple fans but people that just want a great device that's in between a laptop or something like an iPhone so definitely I recommend it you guys hope you guys enjoyed my review stay tuned for more Apple reviews as says well uh, other toy reviews subscribe to my channel if you like and the Shaw Long saying till next time hey guys wonder where I get all my amazing toys well I get them at bigbadtoystore.com or BBTS for short for all your needs whether it's Transformers DC Marvel G.I. Joe and more go to bigbadtoyster.com they accept paypal and they do pre-orders and they're just awesome Ooh, that was a long review i know man that's why i'm ending the review now Shut up. oh my god are we gonna go through this again first the iphone now the ipads tell me this Shut up. oh my god i can never win with you apple